Hi everyone, Selash here from GMI Technology, Tech Savvy Biz Owners. And in this quick video, I'm going to talk about how you can verify your domain with, uh, with Facebook. Now, uh, someone might ask, why do you want to verify your domain with Facebook? The reason for that is, as you can see, I'm showing you my pixel in here. And the pixel code is very easy for people to duplicate. And as long as someone has my pixel ID, they can start sending events to my Facebook event manager and they can easily sabotage all the tracking data that I have. So let's say I own a uh, plumbing business and I'm only interested in people that are looking for plumbing services. Now suddenly uh, an e-commerce business that sell, let's say, flowers use my pixel, put it on their website and start sending events to my Facebook. This would throw all the algorithms and tracking that have been built up within my Facebook to be able to target specific people that I'm looking for to uh, basically increase my return on, on ad spend and decreases my conversion, rate, uh, conversion uh, uh, price and conversions and increase the, the conversion rate basically. So as you can see, you want to protect yourself. And that's why we have domain verification. And what it does is basically it tells Facebook that, hey, if an event is coming from this domain, let's say my domain is plumbing.com, make sure that you thumbs up and register that. But if it comes from any other domain, let's say like flowershop.com, do not register that. So this is how you protect your uh, events and tracking. Very, very important and definitely want to do that. Now, the way that you do it, first of all, again, you need to go to your business at facebook.com slash settings to be in the business settings. Now on the left hand side, we've already gone through how to create pixel, how to create an ad account. If you haven't watched those, make sure that you go to my YouTube channel and watch that. Then on the left hand side, there is a section called brand safety and suitability. When you expand that, there's a section called domains. If you click on that, this is where you can actually add your domain. So if you go ahead and click on add and you click on create a new domain, we just put the domain in. As you can see, make sure you don't put any HTTPS or HTTP, just the brand naked domain. You just put it there. And that's how we can actually uh, fix this up. So I'm going to pause this, put an, uh, get an example domain, put it in here, and we're going to go through the whole verification process uh, together. All right, uh, the domain that I'm going to use is this domain. So I'm just going to paste it there, click on add, and it will tell us how you can verify it. So, what I'm going to do, as you can see, there's a verification option. I highly recommend this of HTML source code use the DNS TXC record. If you don't know how to do this, I'm going to showcase how you can do this. If you've purchased your domain from Namecheap, if you don't know what language I'm talking about or what I'm saying, uh, you definitely want to find uh, this about uh, uh, your web developer. You basically contact them and say, hey, I want you to do this for me. And they definitely know uh, what to do but if you know what I'm talking about just follow me I'm gonna go through this uh, together so I'm just gonna copy this so as you can see if I hover over this code and click it will copy it now I'm gonna go to my DNS settings which is from Namecheap and I'm gonna add that uh, record so I'm gonna click on add new record and the record is going to be txt record I'm gonna put add sign and then I'm gonna paste it in here and then I'm going to click on this. Depending on uh, the provider that you're using, this can take anywhere between a couple of minutes to a couple of days, like two, three days. Usually Namecheap and GoDaddy are super quick, but if I click on verify domain right now and it's not verified, it might take a little bit of time. As you can see, it says it may take up to seven to hours. Well, let's just go ahead and try it. Yes, it is still not verified. You can obviously keep trying, but usually it takes about five to 10 minutes or about a day for it to get verified. So I'm just gonna pause the video, give it a couple of more minutes, and then I'm gonna try it again. 
Alrighty, we're back in here to verify this thing and see if it's actually working. Now, one thing that I want to mention, if you refresh the page, you'll see that it goes back to HTML source code and some people don't notice that and keep verifying, verifying, and it's like, oh, it's not working. You want to always make sure that every time that you want to click on verify, that this option is the DNS TXT record because that's the one that we did. So let's go ahead and click on verify the one and hopefully this time it works. Still not working. If you use a platform like GoDaddy, GoDaddy is usually way more faster than uh, Namecheap. So I'm just going to get a couple of more minutes and come back and try it again. Alrighty, we're back and we're verified. And let's click on done. And that's pretty much it. Uh, for your domain verification. You might start seeing some uh, domains coming up uh, on your events manager in your pixel. In another video, I'm going to talk about how you can actually create what we call allow lists and stuff like going through all the domains. Let's say you're using uh, a platform uh, that you don't have access to their DNS, but you know that, okay, that's your platform and you know that the URL address it's correct so you can actually tell Facebook that hey this is fine I don't have the DNS I cannot verify the domain because I don't have access to the back end of it but I know it is me so we create something called allowed list and we allow the Facebook to accept those events coming through same as allow list we can actually create a block traffic and say hey anything any traffic or any event that comes from these uh, URLs or these domains, make sure that you block them and you right away don't uh, count them or anything. So those are the other two things that uh, you can use, but that's it for verifying your domain. I hope you enjoyed this one. And once again, please do make sure that you like, share, subscribe uh, to this video. And if you want to learn more or if you need help with any of these items for your business, make sure to check out our website at uh, gmytechnology.com or you know how to get uh, access to me just commenting on any of this video and I'll, I'll get back to you. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.